All right, time for the math. Easy solution to discuss. Uh, well, we're going to look back at the general power rule, but this time look at when x is equal to 0. It's basically y is equal to x to the n. I'll show you what I mean by this. Basically, when we uh, derive this uh, general power rule, we had basically y equals x power of n. We used um, uh, logarithmic differentiation. We went ln absolute value of y um, equals to ln absolute value of x x power of n, and this the n goes down using log rules, you can save law and absolute value of x. So uh, yeah, we use absolute value because this one can be negative and then we have to take the absolute value. So, but and we can we know the derivative of this is the same as if it wasn't absolute value. So basically what uh, the problem here is x can't equal zero for it's not defined for this because if you were to graph law and x, say if you were to graph it, this is a uh, y and this is x. Basically, this is the graph of ln x. This is uh, ln, ln x. And then you can't get it to 0 here because if you remember how log and ln are, they're just the inverse of this function. e to the y is equal to x. So basically, x can't be 0 because even if you get e to the y, because e to the y is equal to 1. I mean, e to the 0 is equal to 1. Yeah, this is uh, usually defined for for this one to the power of zero, you can look at my other video below on um, on these kind of properties of these. But basically, you can't get it to get it to zero, and uh, so then the but then when we look at the absolute value of it, basically if you put in let's say negative one here, this is one. So basically, this is one and zero. This is y zero, x is one. And then if you put negative one, well, you, it's not defined, but with absolute value, you can change it to positive. So at absolute value, this one's going to be equal to basically ln of 1 at negative 1, which is 0. So this is basically here. So this is uh, absolute value. If you were to graph it, it's going to look something like this. It's just going to be a mirror image of this. And, and again here, this, it can't be 0. x cannot equal to 0. So then this general power rule, we found that basically it equals to y prime is equal to n x n minus 1. But I'll show that basically the general power rule, it, even if x is zero, it still it's, it still works. Basically, if you were to use a definition derivative, so we know that y is equal to x n, and the definition derivative is basically y prime is equal to limit as as h approaches zero of f of x plus h minus f of x all divided by h. Basically the uh, the slope as h goes to zero and then basically if you were to you just plug that in that's f of x this equals to f of x limit h approaches zero now we're going to put it in here we're going to get x plus h power of this power of n let's put this n minus minus x to the n all divided by h so basically this is y prime. So then let's say, so we have this, let's just say at zero y prime at zero or x zero, we're gonna have limit h approaches zero of, basically we're just gonna plug this in. So we'll have uh, zero plus h n minus zero n all over h. And then this just simplifies to limit h approaches 0 of, well, h to the n over h. And then if you, then you can simplify this one into limit h approaches 0 of h n minus 1. And then as, as it goes to 0, basically this is equal to 0. So then if you have y is equal to x n, and then the general power rule is y prime is equal to n x n minus 1. And then if you have x is equal to 0, at, at, at x is equal to 0, we have y prime is equal to 0. Even if you were to plug this in, it's going to be still 0. Even if we plug it into this one right here, we're going to have n, 0, this one. So, so th this one still, still matches. So still general rule applies. So basically even yeah, for all values of x. Well, yeah, then, yeah, so basically, even if it's zero. 
this was just to touch up on what I did before, just to get it, just so you guys could get a better idea of of um, lawn and how the function is. Basically, it can't be zero here; it's not defined. And then that's it. So the so then when you when x is zero, you would have to use this definition derivative, and then you can get it simple. Well, that's all for today. Hopefully, you learned, and um, stay tuned for another math easy solution.